nice morning. It's decently warm. It's around 47 degrees. Sorry, there's a deer coming in. It's that doe and two fawns. I'm way out to the stand this morning. I spooked up three deer. I was pretty frustrated. I got out about an hour before sunrise. buck but not not a shooter like this one is they were just kind of sparring and the smaller one walked over here somewhere so See if I get a text saying I got a picture. It was nice seeing that buck again and just knowing that he's still out there and he's active in the daylight. I mean, unfortunately, he's not active on our side of the fence, which is something that's pretty normal here. I'm pretty much the only bow hunter that hunts this block of land right here. So it's nice that I'm out here by myself and I have opportunities to try to get one of these deer before anybody else does, but that pasture and that woods over there is exactly why I don't get deer more often. Because, you know, a lot of people are gonna say this is stupid or I don't know what I'm talking about, but the deer know it's safe there. I had a deer come in front of me this morning. I didn't get in my camera because he was quick. It was a real small buck. You know, he came out in front of me and it startled me. So I jumped, then he jumped, and then he went around me. And he went right into the pasture. He was the same distance he was from me in the pasture as he was in the bean field, but he felt safe on that side. He was fine. He walked off nice and calm. You know, the deer, they've been safe there for as long as I've known. I mean, they've been safe there for a long time and they'll stay across that fence 
and they know they know I'm not gonna shoot over that fence. So I gotta hunt a lot because you never know when they're gonna be on that side of the fence. And then I know that goes for everywhere, but I mean here especially because I see them all the time over there. But when it comes to seeing them on this side of the fence, it's it's pretty rare. I sound like a baby. I'm not whining about it. It's just I'm trying to explain the way it is. That's the way it's it's been here for a long time. It makes makes hunting here kind of hard. I'm about to go get Gemma, take her to dance, and then I'm gonna head to the office for a couple hours and try to get that camera stand, whatever camera arm built. I'm gonna try to make something that just screws into the tree, and if it works well, then I plan on building two of them, putting one in each stand, and then using the one that's in the stand that I was just sitting in for my climber, because it has a strap and I can easily strap it around. And I think, I think it'll work pretty good. So thanks for watching, hit that like button if you want the deer to come across the fence. I'm hoping that, you know, maybe I can get some good internet juju to get these deer to come across the fence. Comment down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I gotta go.